Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of GTA 5, and I'm about to do... I'm about to rampage on some peeps. These two... Oh, it's military. Oh, boy. Hey, hey, guys. It's gonna strip the screw there. I can't put the cap on. No, it's a nut, man. You just screw it back on. Hey, what are you doing here, citizen? I said, what are you doing here, citizen? Nothing. Oh, I'm sorry. You're clearly a tourist. For our friends from up north, eh? A boot? Excuse Don't me? Don't say it like that! There's a moose loose aboot the hoos. Fuck off, you hoosier, eh? Hey, hey, what's that boot? Hey, 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 oh, Jesus. It's a faint hey. fucking accent! Mm -hmm. I can hardly on, tell! That's right. Insurgent, insurgent. We I totally that. agree with everything Trevor is saying. Go! Go, go! Let me go! Oh, you have to use these things, huh? That got him. Do I have to use these things? Wow! That was total carnage. Trevor died. Yeah, he sure did. In a spectacular way. Let's try that again. I don't want to use that weapon, though. Hey, boys, I'm back from the dead. And you are about to meet it. Nicely done. Oh, wait, did one guy escape? One guy escaped! That well, doesn't matter. Uh. Nice! Oh! Nice! <laughs> Chain reaction of explosions. How about we aim right at it and see what happens? Nice! Let's aim right at it. Oh, he's going fast! Holy crap. Uh, bye! Oh, these guys are trying to run me down! Whoa, somebody hit me, I think! Holy crap, they're shooting at me! Um, this is not good. Oh, um, that's a tank. Oh, man, these guys are serious. I just didn't like you guys making fun of Canadians, that's all. Oh, there's a guy, there's somebody. Somebody is dead, or not dead. Somebody's alive. Okay, more, more trucks, hold on. Oh! Is this the best no! US no! Has to offer? Gotcha! Holy crap! Um. Oh, there's this guy. That's the guy that I've been looking at. Is there somebody else over there? It looks like they're. Oh, another truck. Oh my god, another- uh, Oh, a tank again! Okay, don't touch me, tank. Go, go! Oh, these- these guys are chasing me with guns. Okay, hey, tanks down. Got 40 kills, 40 seconds left. Who is this red? This guy, look at this guy, he's insane. Death by association. I want to find out who this living being is. There he is! Finally! Okay. I don't even sound oh. that Canadian. <laughs> That's right, Trevor. You tell him. It's an ongoing struggle for us Canadians. Four seconds left. I'm gonna survive it. Passed. Two out of three rating. Get six headshots. Forty-five kills. Destroy two tanks. That's pretty good, I guess. I guess I didn't get six headshots because I was just using this thing. Can I keep this? No. Oh, look at all the carnage. <laughs> Tractors pull it up. Hey, how you doing? Um, what happened here, son? Don't worry about it, Mr. Tractor Guy. Alright, let's go do the FIB mission. Wow, that was uh that was the hardest one yet. It's a whole lot of stuff to look out for. This is just a robbery. Well Democrat he yelled Democrat at me? Holy Whoa, hello. Trevor Phillips, 
believe he was trying to kill me? Did you not come upon this crime scene where things were dead? Uh, how can I? There we go. All right, I'm going off road, I guess. Oh crap! Now I gotta lose the cops. Cops. Now they won't find me here. Not a chance. All right, guys. I'll see you guys when I get back uh, near the FIB mission thing, and uh, we'll do some some stuff. <laughs> see you soon. It's time to do the FIB's dirty work for them. Those those dirty rotten rats. Those doity rats. This thing is awesome, by the way. I ditched the tractor and picked up this thing, and I am a happy guy. Oh, that looks like an FIB van right there. <laughs> hmm, I thought maybe I'd approach the van and stuff is happening, but maybe I gotta go into the building. Oh, I recognize this building. This is my building, right? Isn't that where I put the two... Um, business, the Asian business gentleman, <laughs> right in that freezer outside. Um, I'm sorry, what do I have to do for this mission? Do I have to meet them upstairs, perhaps? Private, no entry. Are there stairs? Aha! That's why. I'm sure. It doesn't have the arrow. The little letters should have arrows, too. Oh, this, this should be an interesting meeting, I think. Oh, go this way. Hey, there's Michael. Welcome to my lab. And I pee in a corner. Oh, classy. Nice place you got here. Oh, yeah. It's easy to mock, isn't it, huh? Cheap and fucking easy. <laughs> but, uh, this... This here is my place, and my work paid for my place. All right, relax. I was just being sarcastic. Yeah, well, don't be, all right? Because the world doesn't need any more sarcasm. It's the blight of the age. Yeah, I get the point. You, you don't get the point. You're like every other asshole. You made a bit of money, and you became a turd. I got news for you. I was always a turd. No! You weren't, man. You were something. But now, man, you know, you're like this place. You're a shell. Go, Fuck yourself. Are you some kind of pure morally justifiable asshole? What, because you're, you're, you're totally psychotic somehow it's okay? I'm honest, all right? You're the hypocrite. Oh yeah, you're a fucking hero. So far above it all. Oh yeah, well I'm not above ripping open your fucking chest to see what's replaced your heart. Rip it open. See what's there, baby, because I'm ready. Oh gosh, guys. Oh. Calm down, guys. Oh, ladies, ladies, what's up? Fuck off. Listen. I'm sorry. But we've got a problem. Government funding thing. We need you to, uh, uh, investigate a research lab upstate. It's about terrorism, the big one. Nerve gas, biological terror. Thank God I don't pay tax. Uh, listen, you'll need some fairly standard gear. A boat, tandem rotor heavy lift helicopter, truck, weapons. You'll have to source all of that. <laughs> Chopper alone will set you back a couple of mil. Oh, no worries there. Trevor here, he just came into a lot of money. Is that sarcasm? Oh, you're fucking A right at sarcasm. You fuck. A few weeks ago, I was happily retired, sulking by my swimming pool. And my psychotic best friend shows up out of nowhere to torture me over mistakes I made, honest mistakes I made over a decade ago. We, our little posse, are flat fucking broke. But hey, let's go out and spend two million dollars on a tandem rotor fucking chopper so I can go steal nerve gas from fucking terrorists. Forgive me, you ignorant fuck. But sarcasm is all I fucking got. Wow. Sarcasm. Michael. And a room full of you cunts. Michael's yes. pretty mad. Woo! Welcome back, man. It is the old you. Ooh. Loud truck yeah, outside. Yeah, yeah. Sorry well, about that. We gotta go. It's been great, but Dave here's got a Pilates class. Now remember, ladies, you keep us way out of this thing. Bye bye. Ah, oh, Jesus. Fucking Christ. All right. I'll give Lester a fucking call. He said he knew about something. Now you tell him that we're driving towards Polito Bay. Come on. You're driving us up to the bank. I am? I guess I am. Get into the car. Man, Michael just snapped right there. I've never seen him so mad. It's a different side of Michael. I don't like it. 
I like the old, sarcastic, caring Michael. This new Michael is crazy Michael. You still driving this piece of crap, man? Hurry up. Get in there. Bestie. Go to Polito Bay. Now they're going to yell more in the car, I'm sure. And... Go! I'm calling ah! Right called it. <laughs> what now? We got a funding problem. So we need a job. Before the jewel store, you talk about a score. A, a bank in the sticks. I need you to meet us there. Polito Bay, right? That's the one. I'll get on a bus. On a bus? Dude, you're right, Lester. Lester's meeting us there. Don't start. I won't. No way. Good call. If you're taking down a bank for a few million, first thing you do is call the hospital, tell them to get you a guy in a wheelchair. Oh, this Hayseed Bank, you gonna be carrying that kind of change? Local law enforcement extort money from all the weed farms, whorehouses, meth kitchens in the area. They keep their cash in safe deposit boxes. Then there's all the normal small town payroll stuff. We should do well. You know, I've been thinking about you, Trevor. Your lifestyle. Oh, have you? Really? Yes, I have. People always try to label you. You know? Maniac. Yep. Psycho. Yep. Friend. Industry leader. Gonna go with a big nope on those. you defy categorization. But then... What? Think about it. Where you live. Sandy Shores, you precious ass. I'm sorry there ain't a place nearby for you to get your colonics. Right. But why are you out here? It's off the grid. We're away from it all. It's somewhere real and authentic. This is America! And real people ain't been priced out yet. Yeah, well, what if it gets gentrified? Then I'll fucking move. Okay. What about the way you dress? What about it? I don't give a shit what I wear. No, no, no. If you don't give a shit, you wear clean clothes that fit. So yours are all a little out there, you know, a little wacky. Whatever's in the shop is what I get. Jesus, what, what is this? It's not an absence of taste, T. It's the opposite of taste. You should be a stylist. And then there's the tattoos, the hair, the weird music, the funny toys, the niche drugs, the... What is he, what's he getting at? Thing. What the fuck are we talking about? You are a hipster. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You're a hipster. I hate hipsters. Classic hipster denial. I <laughs> abhor hipsters. I eat them for fun. <laughs> hipsters love saying they hate hipsters. What I really fucking do? Self-hatred. Common hipster affliction. <laughs> only because I'm living out here away from the bean machines and the bankers. You're gentrifying. Soon, the skinny jeans will show up. Then the skinny lattes. <laughs> and then the bankers. And you'll be somewhere else starting the cycle all over again. Maybe you're not a classic garden variety hipster. But you're what the hipsters aspire to be. Oh my gosh. The bus stops up here. All right. How long does it take us to get out here from LS? Have we been waiting? <laughs> Store rocks. Man, knock it off. What? Hipster. <laughs> I'm gonna break your fucking fingers. You don't knock that shit off. Well, please. All right, you alleviate the boredom. Ah, finally. Hey. 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 Welcome to paradise. My car's this way. It's dry out here. Don't worry, brother. Mike will take care of all your moisturizing needs. Mm. Oh. Shall we? Might as well get started. <sighs> Drive us to the bank. I will go to the front of the bank, clock the entrance. If the paperwork's correct, the alarm will be a relic. It should be in and out before the local PD knows what's happening. <laughs> this, I don't like seeing dark Chevy Tahoes. They feel like police vehicles. 
Focus on the bank. That's the entrance to the bank. Nothing special. Uh, take us around back. Okay. okay. There's an empty lot behind. No one should pay attention to us back there. All right. I like it. Yeah, the place is remote. It's got the right amount of foot traffic. How exactly do we so get in there? Uh -huh. Let's check out the alarm to be sure. Mm. It's not ideal. It's gonna cost more to break that system than the score is gonna pay. Well, then we're gonna have to find a new score. No, 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 uh-uh, no, no. This is the score. Right? What are our options? It's a dumb idea, but we could trigger the alarm. See what kind of response they throw out. That is a dumb idea. Hey! You heard the man, alright? Shoot the sucker. Okay. I'll shoot the alarm. Okay. I brought my police scanner. Now drive over to the gas station opposite the bank, and we'll monitor chatter. All right. This is Toledo Base Security Services Frequency. We have a code 30 Adam. Alarm going off at Blaine County Savings Bank. All cars in the area, please respond. Toledo cars 3, 6, 9, and 1 will be there in 50 seconds. 50 seconds, huh? Dispatched four cars in 60 You're seconds and more on standby, guys, and it isn't yeah? even 30. Victor, a shot's fired. Oh, this is a real headache. What do you got on the clock? 40 seconds. This is Toledo Security. Any updates on the Code 30 Adam? Backup ready to mobilize. This is not normal. The response is out of proportion. Cops in this county are dirty. And the alarm just went off on their piggy bank. So... This is them. What is that, a 67 second response time? Four cars. More in the wings. Bad cops, garden dirty money. Fuck how many? We can take this! Wait right here. We'll see if anything about their routine suggests a weakness. Polito Radio, this is Polito Car 3. We have a code 12. False alarm. Possibly triggered intentionally. Roger that. We're going to set up checkpoints on the Great Ocean Highway and the Sonora Freeway. Car to car searches and record checks. Checkpoints? Searches? Fuck this! I ain't getting caught because Lester needs a wheelchair. Hey! Wheelchair or not? Choose we're between still Michael and Trevor in the switch. I'm not going to outrun a cop. We're going. And if we're in front of Trevor, he'll be the one running for the cops. Hipster! <laughs> Hipster? Race Michael to Trevor's office. You know what? Why don't they? Here's a crazy idea. I've never robbed a bank before. But how about if, like, every day at random times you set off the alarm on the bank on purpose. And then eventually the cops are going to be like, oh my god, that alarm sucks. Let's, um, you know, ignore it. <laughs> and then you can rob the place in peace, right? It, to it would totally work. It would totally work. It probably wouldn't work. There's a logging place over here. That's pretty cool. Well, there's a door or a road here somewhere. What the? Oh, well, I totally... I missed the turn off apparently somewhere. And I'm probably... Okay. That's fine. I think... Yeah. This is good. Holy crap! Go, 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 go. Get, can I? He's gonna beat me now. Crap, man! Where'd this tree come from? I don't, I can't see. I'm in bushes. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, he's gonna kill me. He's killing me. He's absolutely destroying. Tree just jumped out of nowhere. Watch out, deer! Jeebus. Nature, man, always trying to kill me. Yeah, he beat me. He's already there. I'm pretty sure. That sucks. How do you duck like this? Can I do this? No. How do you duck to get under that tree? <gasps> oh, oh, oh. Oh, gosh. I'm going to die. Wow, that was... That was uh, an impressive death. Hey, 
Wheelchair or not. Okay, I'm gonna go with Trevor again. Go with Trevor again. Come on. This time, this time, we're gonna do better. Oh, so sharp the steering on these motorcycles when you're going. So I love how he just calls him a hipster. Don't hit me. Don't worry about me, trucks. I'm just gaining maximum speed. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, wow. How did how did he get there so fast? Nah. Taking a different route this time. Oh, this doesn't look right. Up we go. Nope, can't climb it. He is taking a completely different route. I feel like I should probably cut straight through a bunch of places. But I don't know my woods very well. Let's try cutting through here. There we go. We found a road. And now it looks like the rest is just... Whoa! It's just straight on. Oh, yeah. he beat. Me. Maybe he's meant to beat me. Or maybe I'm just terrible at driving. That's probably the more likely scenario. Hey, was it over here that I totally wiped out? Yeah, it was right over here. Let's be careful. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can we... Oh yeah! Look at this! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, this is a long drive back, I think. Hope you guys like driving missions. Because we be driving. It is called Grand Theft Auto. You know, for a game called Grand Theft Auto, there's not a whole lot of focus put on thefting autos. There's a whole lot of other stuff. Holy! Ouch! Go, 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 go! Wow, that rock. It came out of nowhere. There's another one. Just jumped out of nowhere. You hit that rock like you couldn't avoid it. Man, Michael is fast in that car. Got to find another shortcut somewhere. Oh, man, I'm really getting my speed up, though. Catching him. <gasps> Whoa. I think I did it. Oh, my God. Beat him at the last second. That's awesome. Jesus, what took you so long? Had to let you win. Right. Whatever. We gotta pick our crew now. <coughs> Set up a board over here. Oh. Michael, man, your blood sugars are low. I'm making you some leftovers. I'm fine, T. Huh? No, I'm the host, man. You know, I don't want you to get hungry and moody, all right? Then you're going to be making the wrong decisions. I mean, I've been making wrong decisions my whole life. That's how I ended up here. here you go. Bon appetito. Oh, that looks Jesus delicious. Christ, Trevor, what is that? What's wrong with you? That's just a... a what? An eyelid. It's probably not even human. Unless <laughs> the gas station job. Gentlemen, some plans for your attention? Good. Wow, he put those up quick. a minute longer than I have to. So I think our little uh, experiment showed that the response will be too quick to beat and too strong to walk through. That means you gotta face the cops head on. Dirty cops. Uh, the dirty cops head on. Head on. Man, I don't know. Well, you'll be prepared. 
convoy is carrying military-grade hardware past near here to get to Fort Zancudo. I propose hijacking one and using the equipment to get an edge on the locals. I can get you the exact details of the shipment as soon as we're done here. Anyway, you won't be outside the bank too long. Polito Bay is, well, it's a bay. So you're a street away from the water where Franklin can be waiting in a boat to get you out of there. I know none of this is ideal, but it's the only way I can see of taking the score mm -hmm. and providing mm -hmm. for your FIB paymasters. Fine. We need personnel? Just a gunman. They'll be taking on the cops with you, so my advice? Choose someone good. Gustavo Mata. Hmm, six, uh, twelve. Think about my buddy Chef, okay? Chef. Consummate professional. Max health, twelve percent. You know, for two more percent, I'd rather have this guy. Yeah. He that, handled himself the guy. at the jewelry store. This really the guy you want? Yeah, that's him. That should do. I'll get the equipment together. Michael, you reach out to Franklin. Trevor, mm -hmm. you do what you do. Roger that. I'll call you when we're ready to move on this. Mm, you want a bunk with us? I mean, it's gonna be tight, but you know, me casa, su casa. I, I'll get a motel, thanks. Come on, to the show. Fine, I'll give you a ride. Adios, amigos. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that seems about right. Guess those oh. eyelids weren't as fresh as you thought, huh, Trevor? <sighs> New contact, Lester. Oh, does he have missions for me now, too? Gold. Nice. Leisurely drive, and I won. Fantastic. What a beautiful day.